Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. This is Nevin from Nevs Tech Bits. Today, I want to drop a little information about how to convert VHS tapes to DVD, or more importantly, bypass DVD altogether and go right to data. Now, back in the day, we all loved having our VHS tapes. It was a big deal if we had one of those giant uh, ones that would, you know, hang off your arm and everything looked really grainy, everything looked really blurry. We were really privileged to have one of those, but of course these days everyone's got uh, their cameras, their cell phones. Our grandparents, when they first had these things, our parents, our grandparents, um, they recorded a lot of special memories. A lot of them are either not with us anymore, or they just don't know how to do this stuff on their own. Or if you're one of those individuals watching this, congratulations, way to keep ahead. And it's unfortunate that your grandchildren and your children are doing this for you. Anyways, what you get is a tool, much like this, that goes between your computer and, uh, and the VHS. So what you have is you get your VHS player, and then you hook it up to this, and then you plug this into your computer. So making a data version is easier than it is to convert it all the way over to uh, DVD. Anyways, everything is going digital now. DVD is digital, and DVDs will wear out faster than a lot of other mediums. Uh, I think I've made a video before on the degradation of data and how if you're going to make a time capsule, you really need to be careful about what you use because with DVDs, they'll only last about 100 years. Even things that you write will only last about 100 years. Uh, the thing is, if you want to keep data, you got to keep moving it to new forms or a lot of it's going to uh, fall away to entropy and decay. That's why we don't have a lot of information about what we used to have. We've lost so much just because just having something over time it will become destroyed. This, uh, this includes our videos, our VHSs. Anyways, I'm going to show you a little bit about what we got to work with, uh, what we can play with, the low side and the high side. The easiest to use, maybe not the easiest thing to use. Anyways, let's get into it. So here we have a very basic, dumbed-down, quintessential uh, unit. This is what most of us have been using for the last uh, maybe five years. So this is RCA. Uh, red, white, yellow. Audio, video, and then this is S-video. Wait, sorry. That's S-video. Going to the capture device, and then that will plug directly into your computer. And uh, the drivers will generally be on the CD, do not lose the CD, and uh, you usually get a special program on there that you can use to change the video, to look at the video, to change the video. Uh, I can't exactly give a very good how-to on how to use the data because there's so many different kinds, and I'm just going to do an overview of these different kinds. This is, I'd say, your medium of the road, uh, Sabernet. I find that Sabernet is almost like star tech it's kind of the acme i'd say it's not quite as good as star tech but they really i really haven't gotten anything from actually no i did get one thing from sabernet that didn't work i couldn't get the, the most latest a drive uh floppy drive to work with windows enterprise but i can get older versions of the same drive to work anyways anyways so this is let's say about a four out of ten i got it for 40 bucks you're going to have to pay about at least uh, around 40 to 60 bucks for something reasonable. You can get them for as low as uh, 5 or 6 bucks on eBay, but I wouldn't trust those. It's probably just kind of thing if you want just one and done. Might not even work by the time it gets to you. But geez, 7 bucks is 7 bucks. That's next to nothing. Anyways, once again, this is this is maybe a 4 out of 10, maybe a 5 out of 10, but uh, it saved my butt uh, a few times. It saved me when let's say at work they had um, one of these million dollar microscopes that hook up uh, to the computer and the only way that you can look into this is for an RCA and this thing has RCA so it was perfect to replace the, the piece of junk video capture card that they had on there anyways let me show you some other options so when I search Amazon uh, some of the top hits that I find 
are the Easy VHS to DVD 3 Plus by our Rioxo. And the next one is VHS to DVD. Now, usually I would trust this brand name, uh, Ro Roxio, I guess I should say. Roxio, yeah. Anyways, uh, I would have recommended this because I've used uh, their software before and I've been very satisfied with it every time that I've used it. But within reading the reviews, uh, it sounds like there are some annoying problems with it. Like if there is even, I think it said three seconds of dark time, it will automatically stop recording. So, you know, if you get a break, I've even seen th uh, three second break in commercials and some bad TV programming, but uh, unfortunately that way it looks like you have to sit through it. it uh, it's still getting pretty good hits, I gotta say, but simply based off the reviews that I read here, there, and everywhere, it sounds like this VHS to DVD 8.0 is the one that you want to go with. It seems the easiest, of course it has its own problems, it doesn't have a 5 out of 5 star review, but the reviews are much better on this one than they are on, uh, on the other one. VHS to DVD 8.0, it's simple, it's a nice little box, it connects uh, directly, this is how you connect it, it's really simple, if you can hook up a uh, VHS player to a TV, you can hook this up, you get your software, you, and uh, on the DVD side, yeah, on the computer side, you get your software, you hook the computer up to the box, you hook the VHS up to the box, that's it, that's all, bingo bango, away you go, and then you just hit record on your uh, VHS player, and and you record. Uh, that's as simple as that. Uh, I hear really good things about the software. I do hear some people having a few complaints about this not working perfect and uh, then the rest of the complaints really just seem like people are using cheap computers uh, that are bogged down with advertisements and malware because they go to bad sites when everyone's sleeping let's just say <laughs> anyways you know what I'm talking about but yeah I would definitely check out this VHS to DVD and if I can find a tutorial on its software I will link it but this is the best thing you got to go with just slap a video in press play and come back every now and then to make sure that uh, you press stop with this stuff you will save directly onto the computer then you will save it to DVD but yeah really simple really easy it's just like recording uh, from a VHS player to a VHS player if you ever did that stick in press play hit record on the other one and uh, Away you go, away you go, profit. And let me see, you know what, let's check out eBay. Okay, VHS to DVD. I found some, yes, yeah, seven bucks. If you're on a really tight budget, you got all kinds of time, hey, maybe this thing will work out for you. It looks like pretty much the same shell as the one that I'm using right now. It looks like it comes with all the same stuff. It gets pretty good reviews, 18 product ratings, but sometimes when I read these reviews I wonder if uh, they were really made by someone in China that knows the, the guy selling stuff. That's it. That's all from me. I will have links to this, uh, the Vidbox VHS to DVD, in the description, and uh, I might have one for that other one. Here we go. Yeah. Roxio. I might have another one for this one in the description too. But yeah, check it out. It's good to move those things on. Uh, History is going to get lost if we don't upgrade these things. It's our responsibility as uh, as hoarders to keep this information. Bust yourself down a level, buddy. Get yourself to the data world. Get yourself to the DVD world. Anyways, that's it for me. Nev from Nestech. Bits like and subscribe if you like this stuff, guys. And I'm out.